Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to Python. Python is a very powerful programming language, which is used widely by many companies across the globe. The guy who invented Python is called Guido van Rossum, or Guido van Rossum. He comes from Netherlands, and his mother language is Dutch. Now, Guido van Rossum as a young child, he was always watching Monty Python, a British comedy. And that's the reason why he basically gave the name to this programming language he created. He called it Python. And the platform which allows you to connect to Python is called Idol. This is because of Eric Idol. Okay, that's enough for the history of Python. For these examples, I'm going to use online-python.com. There's lots of platforms, lots of different websites, which you will allow you to code in Python. Feel free to use any, because all the instructions I'm going to be giving you, you will be able to actually follow through. If I refresh this page, the first time you visit this page, you will see this code here. For the meantime, let's scrub this code by delete, highlighting and deleting it. So I'm just going to give you some basic structure. The first thing we need to discuss is variables. What is a variable? A variable is a container which basically can change different circumstances. So I'm going to give a variable A and I'm just going to give him the number 3. And I'm going to create a variable B and I'm going to give a number 5. Then I'm going to print the variable A plus the variable b. And when I run this code, it's going to give me the number 8. So this is the basic structure of Python. So now let's add a little bit of text before our variables. So I'm going to add a single quote, or I could actually add a double quote. It's up to you. Either of them will work. I'm going to start with a double quote, and I will say a total of A and B is equals, and then I'm going to double, close the double quote, and then because I need to let the program know that I've got a string here, and I've got variables here, I need to separate the two. I'm separating the two by comma. If I click run, I will be able now to see a more constructive message. The total of a and B is 8. So by following the same process, we can actually put a bigger algorithm here. But before we expand our algorithm, let's find that, let's talk about data types. What's a data type? A data type is what describes a variable. The data type allows the computer to know how much space it needs to allocate uh, for the program to run. For example, if I create a variable a, and I will say this variable a is equals to, uh, I'm just going to put hello, so I put capital letters and lowercase letters, 2024, I put numbers, and I'm going to put some special, special characters here. Now I want to find out what type of data type this variable is. So I will say print a comma is in single quotes or you can put double quotes and then I'm going to put type and I'm going to say a. So this code will enable me to basically identify what type of date type this variable I have created is. Now I know that this variable is string but let's see if I'm right. So the string date type allows us to put text, characters, special characters, and numbers. Now, even the space is classed as special character as well. So that's a string date type. So let's highlight this. Let's keep a couple of lines. Let's remove that. This B. Okay, 2024 is string. This is because I put in double quotes. What if I remove 
the, 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 sorry, the single quote. What if I remove the single quote and click Run now? Now I can see that the date types change from a string to integer. Int is sort for integer. An integer date type is basically the whole number. So what if I put a decimal place here? So if I put 20.24. Let's click Run. Now from integer becomes float. The float date type will allow us to actually put decimal places. So let's find out the next and final data type I'm going to introduce you today. Please note that there's a lot more data types out there. But these are the four most commonly used data types. String, integer, float, and boolean. So if I put here, I will say 4 is greater than 9. Now I know that 4 is not greater than 9. This is false. But let's see what data type it's going to give us. This is the boolean data type. True or false. So if I put here 4 is less than 9, now we'll be able to see that's still boolean. So this is again true. So we have the true here and if I actually go back up again the true became, becomes false. Okay, So this is a boolean. On, off, 0, 1, false, true. Or true, false. It's up to you how you're going to put it. So these are the four different data types that we are going to be using from now on until you master the Python programming language. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.